So you've got your new Simply IDX site set up, and now you want to do some customizations. Let me make a few suggestions. First of all, if you're hosting with us over at Realty Candy, you have to know that every day there's an automatic backup made of your site. So if something happens and it's not what you wanted, just let us know and we can roll back your site a day, and that gets you back to where you were the day before. So that's a big, um, big plus. Real quickly, we have some settings right here. You want to go to scroll down here to where it says Simply IDX Settings. And you can put in your social media links here. There's a, a link down on the bottom that says uh, Terms of Service, for example, and it links to this page. This There's one that says Privacy Policy, and it links to this page. And you can change those to go to any page you want on your site. There's the copyright text, and you can put um, header scripts and other scripts here. When On the mobile, there's a search URL and there's a favorites URL. And you can put in the link for those here to make sure people go where you want them to go with those. So those are the two. That, that's a big place. The next place you want to go to is under appearances, under customize. This is how you can set a lot of the, the uh, features for the theme. For example, you can pick which uh, Google font you want. This gives us a whole choice of maybe several hundred Google fonts here. For headers, for the main ones, you can do any combinations, sizes there. The other thing is the hero section. This is a section on the page. You can choose how you want this to display. Um, again, there's some background if you're using the Impress Listings plugin. You can set a background here. The footer background image, you can set that. Um, the colors on your site, for example, let's say that this one's going to be easy for me to remember because it's white. Say you say we want our site to be yellow, you can do that. And if you say, you know, let's see, you know, what this color looks like, then you can you can do that and change all these colors here. That brings it back to where we were. Again with the text color, let's just see here. Copy this so we get it back like it was. But again, you can you can change these uh, colors on the site and maybe make your your text blue if you want, if you want your text to be red. Uh, you can do that. So there's different types of, of colors here. And we'll put it back like it was. So you can change all of those. Once you're done with the changes you're going to do, you want to push publish up here at the top. Um, the site identity is here where you put in your logo. You can change the title to uh, whatever you want it to be. In this case, the client's name is Tiffany Osterley. And then I don't know what they're going to want to put here, but they've added a, uh, a fav icon or a site icon. The background image, you can change that. What's in the menus? 